Andrew Reed from QBooks Consulting. I'm a QuickBooks Certified Pro Advisor, and today I'm going to show you how to set the closing date in QuickBooks. When it's time to file your corporate tax returns, many of you will transfer a copy of your QuickBooks file to your accountant. Many of you will do this without setting the closing date on your QuickBooks file. What inadvertently happens is an entry is accidentally made that files prior to your year-end date, and then your trial balance no longer matches what you've given your accountant. I always recommend setting the closing date. This is such an easy task to perform and prevents endless hours of trying to find any year-end differences. Please note that in order to set the closing date, you must be logged in as the administrator. Alright, in order to do this, let's click on Company, click on Set Closing Date, click on Set Date Password. I'm going to enter a date of October 31st, 2012. You can enter a password if you like, but it's not necessary. I'm going to do this first example without having a password, and then we'll redo it again after with the password. I just want to show you what happened. So click OK and click OK. OK, now let's enter a bill with a date prior to your closing date and try to save it and see what happens. OK, we've entered our date of uh, October 31st, which is our closing date. We're going to try to save it. And a warning message pops up advising you that the modifying this transaction could impact your previously filed sales tax returns. Now you have the choice of saving the transaction or not, but at least you're made aware that if you save the entry, it will affect your previously closed period. So we're not going to save this. And now we're going to go back and add a password. Once again, we click on Company, click on Set Closing Date, click on Set Date Password. Here we're going to add in a password. We're going to re-enter it once again. Click OK and click OK. Now when we try and save the transaction, you get a message that pops up that says you must enter a closing date password to make the change. Now you can decide whether to save the entry or by entering your password or by cancelling. I hope you found this QuickBooks Quick Tip useful. To get the most out of your QuickBooks software, visit my website at www.qbooksconsulting.ca.